Hello, this is Peniel. My name is George Falconer. Remember the name Peniel, where Jacob walked away the limp, having met with God, but still received a blessing. And I identify with that. I wrote a book called God's Kaleidoscope by me, George Falconer, published by Onwards and Upwards, and you can get it from Waterstones. You can also get it straight from the publisher, or I expect any other bookshop will do. Get Onwards and Upwards by George Palmer, my autobiography, and you can learn about who I am, what I've done so far, and how God has used me and is still using me. I want to read a short passage, and then I'm going to tell you a story which I heard as a child. <clears throat> the short passage is from the Bible, it's from 1 Peter, and chapter 1 from verse 13. Therefore prepare your minds for action, be self-controlled, set your hope fully on the grace to be given you when Jesus Christ is revealed. As obedient children, do not conform to the evil desires you had when you lived in ignorance, but just as he who called you is holy, so be holy in all you do, for it is written, Be holy, because I am holy. Now bearing that last bit in mind, Be holy as I am holy, I now tell you a story that I heard when I was a child. Charles Blondin was a French tightrope walker. He was known throughout the world for his daring feats of tightrope walking. He came to the United Kingdom, he came to Ireland, he came to the United States and walked across the Niagara Falls. I'm sure you realise that tightrope walking is highly dangerous, but he was a relatively small man at 5 feet 5 and he had a great skill at doing this. Crowds used to gather to watch him to see if he would make it to the other side. And bookmakers took bets on him in case he plunged to his death and the bookmakers could make a great deal of money. Such was the fame of this man. Anyway, it is said that sometimes he would ask people in the crowd if any of them would let him carry them across. Because he would ask the question, do you believe that, that Charles Blondin can walk that tightrope and get to the other side? And say, yes, we believe that. But when asked, well, in that case, if you believe that, will you let him carry you to the other side? Oh, people were a lot more reluctant about that. Oh, no, 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 I'm not taking that risk. No, 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 no. I don't really believe it at all. He can do it, but I can't. He can't carry me to the other side, all that extra weight and balancing. No, no, I'm not risking it. However, I have recently discovered, with certainty now, that he carried his manager across. He said to his manager, You have to become one with me. You have to be Charles Blondin as well as me. We have to become as one. And with that, he was able to carry his manager across. Well, just like he and his manager became as one, this passage tells me that we have to become as one in Jesus Christ. Be holy, because I am holy. We have to be like Jesus Christ. We have to trust him completely. He has promised that he has paid the debt of our sin upon the cross. We are all sinners. We are before a holy God who cannot abide sin. And one day he will return. And there will be two camps, one saved, the other not. To those not saved, they are banished to eternal punishment. To those who are saved, welcome into his kingdom. And right now, his kingdom is being built. But are we part of the kingdom? 
Have we become one with Christ or are we becoming one with Christ? Have we submitted to him? Just like those people in the crowd who might have been asked, do you do you think Charles Brundle, uh, Brundle can make it to the other side? They say, yes, yes. Would you trust him if he took you to the other side, if he carried you across? No, 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 no. People intellectually think, ah, well, Jesus Christ is the saviour of the world. Uh, but I can't trust him. It's too risky. Rather, I'll put my trust in standing on the ground I'm on right now, the world. And if your faith is all intellectual and not in the heart, and it doesn't make any difference to you, you are deceiving yourself. You're like the people in the crowd who says, I trust in Jesus Christ, but I don't really trust him. And if you don't really trust him, that means you've not trusted him at all. You have to be like the manager, become one with Christ, one with him in every possible way. Be ye holy as I am holy. If you've not done that, will you do it? And will you do it now? Amen.